Hi guys, welcome back. I'm gonna be removing this top from the um, Berlinia and egg fruit canistel trees after um, three months of protection, just like the um, the mango in the previous video. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that video and got something out of it, especially uh, us here in Victoria that really need this information because I've been losing like tons of tropicals over the last 10 years because there's no local information oh, well other than you can't do it and they stop there <laughs> yeah right so let's um, take the cover off this guy here can't wait to see the Rolinia it's been a while another extremely windy day and it's gonna be windy like this all week during our warm spell we can't get around this uh, nasty weather guys if it's not cold it's windy if it's not windy it's wet and if it's not wet it's just all all three uh, together even in spring Ugh. so as a heads up even this uh, extremely high grade frost cloth can get ripped it's only been on here for geez how long have I had it a month barely a month because it was rubbing on this stick here right this stick here it got uh, it got it got um, cut so it's a good idea to put something soft over the stick to prevent this every corner got ripped like that it's very windy it wants to fly away but you can see the rip very clearly right yeah that's how long the uh, the new cloth was that I put on there a month ago from Dailies. It's almost uh, four meters long, and as you can see, the old ones had it. Look at this! Wow, what a rip! And all those holes there. Let's go into the garbage. And voila, they're off. Okay, let's have a good look. Starting with the, the canister, guys. Egg fruit, yellow sapote, whichever one you fancy. Well, I've got to say, it's looking pretty good. It's looking very good indeed. Let's get deep inside there. It looks like new growth in the middle. Yep, nice. Yeah. Some of the old leaves are falling off the the yellow ones and the uh, the brown ones but that's typical after winter it happens on many of these but I'm pretty stoked about the uh, um, frost cover I'll have to use it again next year though it's still a baby so look how small it is it's only like um, not even a meter barely a meter high yeah pretty good it's been trying to grow over winter which is what it does in its native climate see that new growth there but it's uh it hasn't been too <laughs> successful Th those new tips should be green not brown so it's struggled to uh, to do its winter thing in our nasty five month long winter here in Melbourne there's another angle of it from behind so I would say it's past the test okay let's move on to the 
the next tree, the main, the star here, the Relinia. Also known as Brazilian Cussed Apple, right? And a few other names. Yeah. So I'm looking for new growth. Uh, wow, it's so small. I don't know if I can show it on camera. I'll try. Now yeah, I tried to focus, but uh, it's too small. But uh, there is new growth. It's just uh, way too small to. I can't even see it with my eyes. I need glasses. <laughs> so I'll I'll come back to that when it's growing a little bit. But overall, pretty good, guys. We've got the uh, the canistel and the Relinia A-OK -okay over winter. Whew, what a relief. And for the record, I didn't water them at all, just like the mangoes that were undercover. So they were not watered, even though they got um, grass growing under them here. See the grass? They just came naturally from uh, in-ground moisture. So never ever water these sooks in winter here in uh, our temperate climate. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, it's a good reminder to use frost cloth in winter. Thanks for sharing. Um, all of you who mentioned using a frost cloth and uh, we'll see you from the next video guys I'm gonna go get some sun now it's a beautiful day ice cream banana blue java coming up in one of the future videos